Mr. Math here. Thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby and the Forgotten Land. We are here in the Winterhorns region, about to go into Metro on Ice. So, looks like we're going to go downstairs into a subway and do subway things. Which obviously include eating people and saving Waddle Dees, because that's what everyone does in subways apparently. One thing I gotta say for the for this game is that the graphics are really on point. Milk. Hmm. Okay. What a nice transformation this is. I wonder what that did. Okay. Down into the subway we go. Ice physics, yay! Get this guy. Um, I said, let's get this guy. There we go. Oh, hey, this lets me. No more ice physics. Well. trying to get around him so that I can send him off to Mr. Snowman over there. Okay, send you over here. Oh, well, that didn't work. Ah! How dare you. Yeah, I like the ice power down here. Makes it very easy to get around. Huh. More money! It's always useful. Okay, it looks like there's nothing on that scaffolding over there. I was going to see if I could go over there to check. Okay. I wonder, if I fall in the water, will something bad happen? on top of two trains. Okay. That must be the other train over there.
Why did... Why did I just go off the edge there? Okay, so anyway, I'm not allowed to go into the water. That answers that question. Why do I want the hammer? Well, something might be about to happen. I think I'd prefer keeping the ice, but... If I still had the ice power, then the ice physics wouldn't be bothering me right now. Ah, I see. There's stakes in the ground here. And I can hear a Waddle Dee nearby. Okay, that was the first one. We're a pretty good distance into the level. I was a bit worried that I would have missed one before, but nope. Looks like I'm right on track. Now I'm really missing the ice power. Ah. Ah. figurine. I was rather hoping for another Waddle Dee, really, but... Eh. Oh, I missed the coin. Get the coin. Kirby! You stupid... stupid pink thing. down. I hope this is a side area that I don't need to go to. Definitely hear a Waddle D. Probably up in that thing. Oh, wait, no. And that opens that thing. And I definitely needed some more life power, so those two bits of food were definitely useful. Uh, let me up, please. Thank you. Find two secret passages. Okay. Where was the first one? 
invincible candy. Number three. I still think I would prefer the ice power. of which ah. what in the world uh. well, that's annoying I'd been pushed out of the way, so... Fourth one. Excellent. Let's see here. I've got almost everything. Just have to clear the stage and whatever that fourth, th that third achievement is. Haha! <laughs> well, check in the shipping container. Okay. in here no nope, doesn't look like it all right here we go got everything in one go excellent Target switch. Chain bomb Kirby. Chain your bombs together to explode all of them at once. Hold down the button, aim, and throw to place them. The more bombs you connect, the more damage they'll do. 
car. Elphalyn. A mystical new friend you met in a mysterious new world. You found Elphalyn as he was trying to save the Waddledees from the Beast Pack. He seems happy to be Kirby's guide, sharing helpful advice to save the Waddledees and rebuild their town. Thanks, Elphalyn. Honestly, he hasn't been all that useful. <laughs> But, uh, I guess there always has to be a Navi character in games like this. So, whatever. Yeah, I wonder what the shocking twist at the end is going to be. Oh, he's a member of the Beast Pack who was leading us astray all this time, or something like that. Or maybe a former member of the Beast Pack who turned against them uh, after they took that bite out of his ear or something. Windy, freezing seas. Ah, and another challenge area. Ah, two more of them. Okay. Well, three more of them. Wow. Light bulb mouth treasure. And they finished a new building in town, did they? Oh. Sure, let's go back and take a look. So, hmm. Waddle D's item shop. Buy a few items to help on the adventure. Okay. Well, all right, let's go check it out. Hi there. Welcome to Waddle Dee's item shop. Considering that we've saved all of these people's lives, you'd think they would, you know, give us free stuff, but no, we have to pay. We sell items that can give you temporary power boosts in a few different ways. You can even use more than one at a time, whether you mix a few together or just double up on one. You can only take one item with you at a time though. Keep that in mind. So, what item would you like, Kirby? doubles your health. Health cannot exceed double the normal amount. Increases attack power for 200 seconds. Stack up to 5 at once. 200 seconds? That's 3 minutes and 20 seconds. That's not very long. Increases speed for only 3 minutes. Stack up to 5 at once. Hmm. Well, I don't think I actually want any of these right now, but I'll definitely keep it in mind for later. Swing by and pays a visit whenever you need an extra bit of oomph. Hasn't been necessary so far. Present codes all over town? What? present codes right now. Let's see. First password. I've already didn't done that one.
Well, anyway. So, I... I'm not really a fan of the hammer. Let's get a new power. New stock. I just added the sleep ability. Enjoy. Uh oh. Um, oops. It's not exactly what I meant to do. A health recovery. Okay, so when you're asleep, you recover health. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like I've gotten every power now. I just have to see about evolving all of them. Let's see. There's only two that I haven't evolved, and that's the one I just got, the sleep power, and the ice power. Okay, well, I like the ice power, actually, and it's kind of appropriate given where we're going back to. Wait a second, he had something new to say. His speech bubble was orange. The ice ability will let you use freezing breath to stop enemies in their tracks. Your freezing attacks will even make larger enemies like bosses stop moving for a while. Yeah, I already basically knew that. Alright, well let's head back to Winterhorns and see about those challenge areas that just opened up. There's three of them. see two of them offhand. Alright, there, there it is. Anyway, let's go to Light Bulb Mouth Treasure. Shine and seek into the ghost maze. Two star difficulty, target time one minute ten seconds. Sign says left. Sign says left again. Could be going better. Also dead end. I'm not going to make it. Hmm. I'm it. 
two minutes. Sign says right. Sign says left. Time. Thank you so very much. Jump button for not working when I pushed you. Ah! Oh, fantastic. It says left. Way. Okay. Well, that took some doing, but I made it. 31.55 seconds beyond the target time. I guess if you just learn the route by heart, you can run through without ever using the light. Except when you have to activate elevators, so okay. You do have to use the light sometime. Pencil drill treasure. Huh. Dig and dash. Path of fences. Two stars, 45 second target time. So you have to upgrade it to the pencil drill to get this treasure road to open? Too bad. bad at all. Didn't make the target time, but eh, wasn't too bad. Certainly not as bad as the light bulb maze was. Alright, and then what's this one? The Noble Ranger Treasure. Two stars. Target time, 1 minute 30 seconds. Long shots. So, probably means I have to aim. Oh, 
thing. Come on, there we go. Aim. That do it? No, it doesn't, of course. sure what I expected. I th mm. We're thinking more along the lines of target shooting rather than enemy shooting. I probably didn't need to charge up the gun as much as I did for most of those. Hey Kirby, where should we go next? Elphalyn asks. Well, the here, obviously. The windy, freezing seas. Five hidden waddle dees this time. Let's be off. Okay, so I'm on top of a house. Fire might actually come in handy. Maybe I should try that power. Honestly, though, I think ice would still be my choice. Food. Didn't actually need it. I think I was just pushing the wrong button for jump. Ugh. Okay, that time I was sure I was pushing the correct button. I must have pushed it too late. Okay. There we go. Hmm. So now it's recommending the... the spike ability. Usually that's a sign that you should go ahead and take whatever ability they have on display. Okay, did I miss anything else? Yes, I did, as a matter of fact. Uh, just a figurine. Visible wall, I can't go that way. All right, and now what? Ooh. 
blow it up? It looks all cracked. Hmm. He's not cooperating. Well then. There was a boat over here. I saw it. Oh, wow. Okay. Enjoy three meals at sea. <laughs> Run into him, yeah! Gotta murder everyone, because that's what Kirby does. Two meals to see. Hmm. How do we get over there? Three meals a sea, yay! And hidden waddle dee number two. Excellent, excellent. Right on schedule. saw a coin back there. Oh, I need fire. And there's fire up there, conveniently. one of the question marks. Hmm. That's kind of irritating. I wonder what I missed. good on the missing Waddle Dees. Oh, there's a frozen thing off to the left here. Blueprint. The Dragonfire Blueprint. I can evolve the fire. 
ability. Haven't I already done that? I mean, I'm using the Evolved Fire ability right now. Another evolution to the Fire ability. Jump into the secret underground room. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's the final of the three question marks, so I definitely missed the first. That's unfortunate. too hard. Alright, got all those guys. So, I've missed the first of the three question marks. That's very unfortunate. back there. Is there anything else? Anything? Nope, doesn't look like it. Well darn. Or maybe I did get it after all. Let's find out. Nope. Find a cave that's safe from the wind, eh? Well, that has to be in the very first area, and I missed it somehow. Gordo. Didn't I already have this one? Wonderia statue. Wonderia is named after its founder, an author who wrote stories about a dog that explores outer space. Those stories became incredibly popular and were later used as the basis of the Wonderia theme park, a land of dreams for kids of all ages. <laughs> so he wrote a book about dogs having adventures in space and then built a theme park dedicated to it. Okay. Poppy Bros. Jr. <laughs> the Battle of Blizzard Bridge. <sighs> Missed only the one, hey? That's disappointing, actually. Maybe I should try it again. Finished a new building. Okay. Oh, and I do and I did find a blueprint also. You know what? Let's head on back.
the 155 Waddle Dees you saved worked together to make the town even bigger. And created a fishing hole? You can now play flash fishing. Try to land some big catches. Huh. Is there any Nintendo series that doesn't have a fishing minigame? I mean, Zelda has fishing minigames. I know that there's a fishing minigame in at least one of the Paper Marios. So I guess that would cover Mario. I suppose Metroid doesn't have a fishing game. So, okay, there is a Nintendo series that does not have a fishing game. Fair enough. So let's evolve the fire ability. Whoa! Is that a dragon fire blueprint? I want to make that! Gimme, gimme! Alright, let me get my tools ready. Then we'll th get this evolution started. Thanks for waiting! The fire ability can now be evolved into dragon fire. Did you have something else to say? When you have the fire ability, run and jump, then press Y to blaze forward with a burn attack. You can also use this ability to light cannon fuses, and here's a lesser known cannon tip. When the fuse is lit, hop in the cannon and press L or R to crouch. That'll speed up the fuse. Huh. Okay, that actually is kind of helpful to know. Wow, okay, 800 coins and three rare stones. A fair bit more powerful and a decent amount faster. I think that would be worth it. I'm glad I've been doing all those challenge stages to get those rare stones. The fire ability has evolved into dragon fire. Wow, okay. That's some long range there. The longer I hold it down, the more damage it does. Well, that was... I was going to say cool, but... That's not exactly cold, is it? With Dragonfire, you can use your burn attack to fly really far by holding down Y. I didn't want to go out the door. Okay, well. Flash fishing. Press the right buttons. When a fish bites, button icons will appear. Press the correct button as fast as you can. Don't let him get away. Oh, this kind of thing. If you catch several fish in a row, you'll eventually snag a big one. Press the buttons quickly and try for a high score. Uh, so it requires good reaction times, which I don't have.
166G. Is that grams or gold or... It's not exactly descriptive. I get a coin. Excellent. Okay, slightly bigger one. New record, 483G. Alright, this is kind of forgiving. 1607G. That forgiving, apparently. Fifteen hundred eighty G. Seventy nine hundred twenty five G. Seventy eight ninety six. the wrong button, I think. Fifteen seventy-five. So I went down a bit. Back up to the 7,000s, 7716 this time. as big as it goes the 7000s hmm it's not getting any bigger Okay. Well, I'll do one more and then that'll be enough. Hey. said one more and that'll be enough. So fine. <laughs> Should we try some fishing too, don't you think? I was just doing that. Do try to keep up, Elphalyn. Thank you. Alright, we're 
getting kind of close to the one hour mark. But I think I still have a bit of time. There's a couple more challenge stages that popped up. Wait, there are a lot of challenge stages here. It almost looks like there's nothing but challenge stages if from a far enough angle. Tornado treasure, okay. Triple strike over freezing water. Two star difficulty, 30 second target time. I actually like the tornado power. It's kind of fun. So good. Twenty five seconds, all right. Huh? Made the target time even. is off to the right there. Is there something to search for around here? Doesn't look like it. Mm. Maybe another little challenge side thing will pop up over there. Time crash adventure. Time crash treasure, rather. Stop time, slow world scramble, difficulty, three stars. Target time, seven seconds? Badly, didn't it? exactly is going on here? Ah. I'm not quite sure I understand this. Looks like it slows things down further the more enemies I hurt. Yeah, so as I damage an enemy, that maintains the slower time. And it also slows down the clock that's ticking as I'm going down the stage. Which is how I was able to beat the target time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Took, took a couple tries, but I figured it out in the end. Well then. It's somewhere around the one hour mark, so it's time to end the video. Thanks for watching, viewers. 
I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Kirby and the Forgotten Land as we come back here to the Battle of Blizzard Bridge and do the battle on Blizzard Bridge, apparently. And then after that, head on to what's apparently the final boss fight of this region. And that's interesting. There's nothing else beyond it. So that means when we finish off this boss fight, we'll probably learn something important about the story. I'm definitely looking forward to that. At any rate, see you then.